Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about using what's called the method of undetermined coefficients to solve non-homogeneous second order linear differential equations. And this is the basic form of such an equation, ay double prime plus by prime plus cy equals some function of x. To do this we're first going to solve what's called the complementary equation and basically we just replace our function g of x with a zero and solve that first. So this is going to be part one, um, So, because I think it can be a little bit of a long process. Um, so the first part is just the theorem here. It says basically, okay, we're trying to solve um, one of these non-homogeneous second order linear equations. It says basically to get the solution to that, you have to look at two different things. It says um, you can look at what's called, so it says the solution is going to be what's called the particular solution, y of p. Um, and also kind of what's called the, uh, the general solution. So it says y of p is going to be a particular solution of this um, original equation we're trying to solve. And y of c is going to be a solution to the complementary equation that we're trying to solve. Okay, so let's try to make some sense out of all this. Um, solving this last part isn't too bad. I mean, you just have to remember some of the other formulas for um, differential equations, but hopefully not not too bad to start off with. Okay, so let's solve this corresponding. Um, let's try to solve this. So we're going to have y double prime plus three y prime plus two y equals x squared. Okay, so the first thing what we're going to do again is just turn this into our complementary equation and we're going to solve first off y double prime plus 3y prime plus 2y equals 0. Okay, <clears throat> now we turn this into what's called the auxiliary equation r squared plus 3r um, plus 2 equals 0 and then based on the solutions to this auxiliary equation, it's going to tell us solutions um, to our homogeneous second order differential equation that we have here. Okay, so I think this is going to factor relatively easily. Looks like we'll just get r plus 1 um, times r plus 2 equals 0. So that means our solution, solutions are going to be r equals negative 1 and also r equals negative 2. So this is a case where we have two distinct real roots and remember if you have two distinct real roots it says basically your solution is going to look something like there's going to be some uh, coefficient e to the first root um, it doesn't matter which one so one of the roots times x plus again this coefficient c2 e to the second root times x so, okay, well, we know our roots here. All we have to do is plug those in. So our general solution is going to be um, c1 e to the negative x plus c2 e to the negative 2x. Okay, so this is going to incorporate, be incorporated into part of our solution at the end. So, um, and I think I'm going to stop this part here. In the second part, I'm going to solve the... Um, the uh, particular solution part using the method of, um, of undetermined coefficients and we'll try to put it all together into some coherent solution so feel free to take a look at that it should be um, posted nearby